Okay. The most popular video on this YouTube channel at this time, the making of this video, is one about Lilith. It's called Myths Lilith. And I have over 1,500 comments on this video. And I've come to realize that most people do not understand what myth is. There is the overly blasé, analytical, uh, rational, uh, thinks of himself as scientific type, who sees myth as just plain stupid. Those are a bunch of old stories that don't mean anything. And then you have the other side, the religious side, who also thinks myth is stupid, just a bunch of old stories, but they're taking myth literally as in the Bible. Uh, I have feminists declaring the video to be highly Let's say uh, sexist. And I have the sexist claiming that the video is highly feminist. And all the gods, all the demons, all the angels, and you name it, are all metaphorical symbols symbolizing different aspects of the psyche. What is the meaning of these metaphorical symbols? And what does what is Lilith symbolize? Why is she important on the left hand path? Well, what she symbolizes is the basic fact that Abrahamic faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam repress sexuality, especially female sexuality. They had taken someone this metaphorical character, this goddess, and vilified her, turned her into a demon. And now I've made a video recently, uh, another video concerning love. No. This in this video I use what's called comparative mythology. It shows the parallels between Lilith and what's called Shakti, the consort of Shiva. Now, Kundalini is synonymous Kundalini with Shakti. Is, it's a serpent. It's all metaphorical, but it's a metaphorical serpent wrapped around the base of the spine. What that symbolizes is the core you, the carnal you, you at your roots. And what you do in Kundalini, through meditation, yoga, and so on and so forth, is you elevate uh, this serpent, if you will, up to the different chakra points, to the head chakra, where you unify with Shiva. And what I've done is I've tied in Lilith and Shiva. Take Lilith. In a sense, in yourself, that core 
sexualized carnal self and once more bring it up to a goddess like state in your self. In here. Nothing magical. Right? Um, I don't believe in literal chakras or wheels spinning around in their bodies. Or some believe that they're portals to other dimensions. No. It's all about you maturing mentally. You getting in better touch with who you are at your core. Alright? Basically, that's what myth's all about. That's why myth is important. That's why myth is right. 